investors so have you all been curious about what's happening in the market don't you worry the coin monks got you covered okay so before starting with our updates let's quickly quote today's headlines Hue by CEO says next Bitcoin bull run is not coming until late 2024. Jamaica's central bank announces the name of its CBDC. Former Cisco employee launches DAO to buy Denver Broncos. Credit Suisse data leak reveals decades of shady clients and activities. So let's start up with our refresh feed. Firstly, starting up with another bizarre prediction, Hue by CEO Du Jun indicated in a recent interview with CNBC on Sunday, February 20, that he does not foresee another Bitcoin bull run until late 2024 or early 2025 well let's have a look at some data which supports this the present bitcoin chart patterns according to ceo jun are comparable to previous bitcoin halving cycles and he believes that the btc price is directly linked to the halves process which occurs every 4 years halving is a feature of bitcoin's core code that reduces bitcoin miner incentives by half and makes mining new bitcoins more difficult Bitcoin halving has previously occurred in 2012, 2016 and 2020 with the BTC price rising in the year after the halves. However, following the peaks, the price of Bitcoin plummeted dramatically. For a long time, the Bitcoin price has struggled to stay over $40,000. Over the weekend, the BTC price fell below $38,000 for a brief while while before rising back above $39,000. Global macroeconomic like interest rate rises and the Russia-Ukraine conflict have put enormous pressure on equities and crypto, with some predicting that the BTC price might fall below $30,000. In response to this, Hubei CEO stated it's quite difficult to anticipate precisely because there are so many other things that might influence the market such as geopolitical events war or recent covid so jumping to our next segment the central bank of jamaica's digital currency now has a name jamaica digital exchange is the name of the jamaica's central bank digital currency in brief it's known as jamdex let's have a look at what's getting cooked out there The name was chosen as the winning name with the tagline "No cash, no problem." The winning logo incorporates the very distinct outline of Jamaica's national fruit and the key ingredient in national dishes, the ackee. Miss Ashley Payne received a total of six hundred thousand dollars for the name and J dollars two thousand fifty thousand for the tagline in regular currency. She also received a total of J fifty thousand dollars in CBDC for winning both prizes in the name and tagline competition. For con- conceptualizing and designing the logo, Mr. Gerard Harvey received three hundred fifty thousand Jamaican dollars in regular currency and twenty five thousand Jamaican dollars in CBDC. The judges agreed that they wanted a name that is easily and preferably instantly recognized internationally as uniquely Jamaican. They even wanted that the name should speak about brand Jamaica and the Jamaican vibe. The tagline for the name had to match the Jamaican recognition factor. It should also speak about digital currency and or its use. in some way no problem is a phrase that instantly conjures up images of jamaica more importantly expresses the mood they wanted consumers and businesses to have when they used jamdex so jumping on to our next segment for today a new decentralized autonomous organization has been founded in order to generate funds in order to buy the denver broncos of the national football league for about 4 billion dollars let's have a look at what exactly happened The Buy the Broncos DAO intends to provide supporters with the opportunity to buy a piece of the club regardless of their financial situation. Sean O'Brien, a former Cisco employee and one of the DAO's organizer, told CB- CNBC on February 19 that the goal is to create an infrastructure that allows supporters from all walks of life to become owners of the Denver Broncos. If it is successful, it will join the Green Bay Packers as a fan-owned NFL franchise. Fans who want to buy a piece of the Broncos through the DAO can put as low as $100 per share compared to $300 for the Packers. Members of the DAO who donate ether to the team's acquisition will get an NFT which by the broncos.com describes as your membership card that provides you access to the cooperative. A lot of professions including attorneys, accountants, software developers, professional sports and a mathematician are among Bra- by the broncos 630 Twitter followers. The team's trustees have stated a desire to transfer ownership to a new party before the start of the 2022 season although the buyer will not receive a discount. It's uncertain whether NFL commissioner Roger Goodell would let a DAO buy and run a club.
Sending up with our final segment for today, according to leaked data, Swiss bank credit sues retained accounts worth more than $100 billion for sanctioned persons and heads of state suspected of money laundering until recently. Let's have a deeper dive into this one. According to the New York Times, the data breach affected over 18,000 bank accounts. The information pertains to accounts that were opened between the 1940s and the 2010s, but not to current activities. King Abdullah II of Junior and Nervous Villalobos, Venezuela's former Vice Minister of Energy, were among the um, account holders with millions of dollars in credit sues. Villa Lobos pled guilty to money laundering in 2018 while King Abdullah had been accused of misappropriating financial aid for his own personal gain. According to the New York Times, other sanctioned people have accounts at Credit Suisse. Other account holders included sons of a Pakistani intelligence chief who helped funnel billions of dollars from the United States and other countries to the Mujahideen in Afghanistan in the 1980s. The irony of a big traditional financial institution assisting high-level criminals was not missed on the cryptocurrency community, which has long been accused of helping and abetting criminals. The $100 billion in deposits revealed by the data breach eclipses Chainalysis estimate of $25 billion in illegal crypto whale holdings as of 2021. So we would now wind up with our assessment for today evening and meet you all tomorrow with even more interesting stuff. Until then, you may consider joining our Telegram channel for free crypto signals. Visit our blog linked below for guides, reviews and tutorials and subscribe to the channel and get daily updates about the crypto market. Lastly, with this little favor of CoinMonks, we hope you stay updated. Thanks for watching and have a nice day ahead.